Hello everyone, let's talk about why NEAT-PG should make you think twice. I have appeared for both NEAT-PG examination and I've also taken USMLE examination. So let's try to see how I was able to decide, okay, I wanna go for USMLE, okay? And, and, and of course, this is also going to be your personalized decision and this is what I feel um, why you should consider these facts before you ultimately decide your aim. So now talking about NEAT PG examination, the first thing is it's uncertainty regarding the schedule. You'll get the news here and there that, okay, this exam is pre-pawned, the exam is postponed now, or even the exam is canceled and you have various forms. Okay, we are gonna have, we are gonna keep next from next time rather than need. And it's, it's just so haphazard and, and the, uncertainty regarding the schedule can eventually take a toll on mental health and cause anxiety so that's one thing the second one is exam format it's pretty unclear sometimes they would test the concepts which are clinical sometimes they would test things which may be of no use to let's say internal medicine physicians like they would test what's the length of optic nerve why would i care about the length of optic nerve so the exam format can be unpredictable and and i i don't know if if, if the things are validated yet and number three is of course the competition is 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 always increasing there are reservations more competition um, and rather than being an intellectual and academic competition sometimes the environment can be such that it's more of an unhealthy competition and rather put you more in, in a stressful situation so a lot of things right need uh, whether it's next, clinical questions, rote learning, everything is kind of haphazard. That's what I, I felt the downsides of need PG were. And of course, there are other advantages. So what's the way out? So these were like big factors for me. I really wanted to do evidence-based medicine rather than experience-based medicine. I wanted an environment which would support my growth rather than, you know, beat um, an environment where there is unhealthy competition. So what's the way out? Um, you can you can explore the options of lab examination or USMLE examination. Since I've taken USMLE exam, I can speak for that. Um, and what do I like about USMLE exam? Number one is organization. It's, it's data and science driven. They would have years of data, see what candidates like, what is clinically relevant. Uh, I'm not interested in knowing length of optic nerve, rather I'm not interested in exact course of median nerve unless I'm a surgeon. So they would test something which is relevant in your practice, which is I think very, very important. And things are very, very organized. They would have you know, meetings recurrently, they would change things according to the current era. The second thing I would say, the efforts are really rewarded. Um, you'll be respected if you put in your efforts. I think the hard work is directly proportional to the rewards you get if you appear for for your USMLE exam and ultimately end up matching uh, in a position where, in a place, in a residency program where you're respected for your hard work. And number three, I would say it really puts you in a situation which can help you push your limits, right? Uh, it's it's not only about just need PG examination. You can uh, appear for USMLE exam, you can appear for PLAB exam. It's just coming or uh, pushing your limits or coming out of your com comfort zone and trying the things which can really flourish you as a clinician, right? right? I What I feel like, regardless if you decide for appearing for USMLE exam, you should definitely go through USMLE materials, which will stand out to you. Um, the materials is, is designed in a way which can make you a great, great clinician as a physician. So you should definitely, regardless of what, what exam you are planning to, you should definitely learn from USMLE materials. And finally, the perks, which I just heard about, but now I can really feel as, as compared to to what you really just read on the internet or from the YouTube videos, the perks really are, it's a global recognition, right? Um, it's definitely, the exam pattern is definitely better than need PG examination at this point. Third one is, of course, you'll have great income. Fourth is, it's evidence-based medicine. Uh, things constantly change, right? Um, and safe working environment. I cannot emphasize that enough. Uh, and I would say, it's a non-toxic residency at most of the places. 
you would have that Gaussian curve everywhere, but but it's way better than working environment as as compared to uh, what you might be um, facing. So of course this this has its own downside. It can cost you time. It can cost you money. It can uh, depending on on uh, what your personal preferences are. It can it can. Uh, uh, make you distant from your friends it can make you distant from your family but it's it's really dependent upon you what you want to really choose i just really want to throw out these facts and ultimately empower you to make your own decisions okay this is not just something to just something to say that okay you should choose this exam versus this exam this is to empower you you have to make your own decision it's basically to empower you to make your decision on on how well you want to be trained